Good morning. It's great to have your company this Monday, the 11th day of October. My name is Jessica Ramir, a Senior Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the Aussie share market will search for direction to kick off the week, but stocks that are likely to do well will be those benefiting from Freedom Day as New South Wales reopens to the vaccinated. The oil prices topped $80 US and iron ore attempts to rebound, but now to overseas markets. The major US indices dipped their toes into the red on Friday. The Dow Jones flat, the Nasdaq down half a percent, pretty much because investors absorbed a mixed bag of employment data that came out. Less jobs were added to the US economy than expected. However, over the week, the major three indices all closed higher because investors hailed that the US Democrats and Republicans agreed to suspend the US debt ceiling limit till December, pretty much kicking that debt ceiling review down the road, really. What to watch today? Four key areas. Firstly, the futures are suggesting the market will fall 0.1 of a percent and search for direction. But do remember last week, the market gained almost 2%, up 1.9% on a weekly basis, rising for the first time in five weeks. So now the market is trading at its equal highest level since July. The second focus point today, commodities. Oil stocks were some of the best performers in the US on Friday. The same will probably occur on the ASX today. Remember, the oil price is back at US $80 a barrel for the first time since 2014. Oil demand is strongly rebounding and supply remains incredibly low. Also recall that the market or consensus is expecting tight supply to be around for six months. So this will likely push up the oil price. Also remember the oil price is up 60% this year. So oil stocks or companies will be earning uh, a lot more than they were um, 10 months ago. Another reason to watch commodities today, the iron ore price is up 5%. That's how much it rose in China. So that helped BHP listed in York rise over 1%. So expect iron ore stocks like BHP, FMG, Rio Tinto and MIN to do well today. The third area to watch, travel, tourism, food and beverage stocks because New South Wales is reopening to the vaccinated Keep an eye on Australia's biggest pub owner. That's now Charter Hall. CLW is their ticket code. Also keep an eye on travel and tourism stocks that are likely to see increased bookings ahead of December 1. So think about FLT, CTD, Webjet, WEB and Hello World, HLO. Also keep an eye on employment data out on Thursday for September It's not likely to be too exciting given the restrictions that were around in September. I think October's employment data will be much more exciting. The fourth area to watch today, ex-dividends and new listings. QRI goes ex-dividend today, transferring the dividend right to shareholders. Remember, ex-dividend days usually cause stocks to fall. And you've got a new listing today to keep an eye on. It's called Recharge. F-P-O. R-E-C is the ticker code they're due to list. As for trading ideas that could be worth a look, here's one. Bell Potter reiterated their buy rating for mineral resources. M-I-N is their ticker code. Bell Potter, however, slashed its price target for mineral resources, dropping it uh, to $54.25, down from $61. 85, accounting for the drop in iron ore prices. However, before the end of this year, Bell Potter thinks the government may approve mineral resources iron ore development projects. And the successful development of these iron ore projects could result in a step change to both the scale of MIN and also the commodity price sensitivity of MIN's iron ore business. Also, if you are into technical analysis to back up your decision making, the moving averages, the 15, the 30, the 7 and the 14, they're all suggesting MIN shares could fall further. However, the MACD, the forward looking indicator, is suggesting that MIN shares could maybe bottoming. 
So the end of this downtrend could soon be over. We're also seeing the stock make a little bit of a rebound. It's formed an uptrend over the last couple of days. But remember, Bell Potter sees long-term value in MIN. Macquarie and City also have the stock as a buy. As for other trading ideas that could be worth a look, bullish charting signals have been seen in Vimy Resources, VMY is the ticker, West Gold Resources, WGX, and Calix, C. XL. And that's according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Ramirez with Bell Direct. Stay safe and have a great day.